Hi, Lindy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, the ward is set against the end of the 60s, which uh -huh. obviously means something. What's your take on that? Oh, it, gosh, I mean, it the, it's what makes the film, you know, the period that it's set in, because times are very different now as far as how they treat um, the mentally ill and how they treat patients in hospitals. And, um, you know, science has evolved so much. And th it's just, it would be, this whole movie wouldn't be the same if it, if it were set in present day. So um, I, I actually really liked that aspect of it because it's, you know, it's, a girl trying to um, survive and, and deal with her mental illness. <laughs> and also that it's a, a group of women at that time, it seems to sort of leverage a bit of sort of p political subtext for the story in, in my mind. And with Sucker Punch this year doing a similar thing, it seems like there's yeah. something, in the, something in the water. <laughs> um, Basically, women are awesome. <laughs> But do you think do you think the film talks at all about uh, women's liberation issues or, or any of that sort of stuff? Because there's a trace of it under there, and I was wondering what you'd. Yeah, I mean, she. It's a story about a, a girl trying to survive. You know, I don't know. And that's the most basic human <laughs> right of human yeah, right of all. Yeah. Now, what happens to these young women? is Quite peculiar, and I'll leave it up to you. What you're happy to say that you think won't spoil it, but. Okay. But how would you describe what, what's going on to these young women? Um, basically, oh gosh, yeah, how do I not give it away? So basically, um, you know, we all play very um, different characters with very different personalities. And um, Kristen, played by Amber Heard, is trying to get out of this, this ward of this mental institution. And the characters around her, like myself, um, are trying to warn her and, and kind of let her know exactly what she's getting herself into. And um, as the story unfolds, you kind of realize exactly what they mean. <laughs> so I'm trying to pass the buck there to see where you think the line is drawn where it doesn't become a spoiler, because there is quite a big big twist to this thing. Yeah, I, I really liked that in this script because it's not just a horror movie about a girl being captured. There's there's quite a bit of a psychological aspect to it. And, um, and that's why I really, wanted to do the film. So w when you were reading this script, at what point, because it does shift, at what point were you sort of hooked on this thing? At first, were you thinking, hmm, I need to see where this goes, or, 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 or what, what was the... Um, yeah, I, I was just very curious right off the top. I mean, the characters are, are so different, and, you know, they're kind of set in this very eerie, strange, um, claustrophobic setting. So, I, I, yeah, I kept turning the page, and by the end of it, I was like, oh! <laughs> I no, totally didn't sense. see it coming when I read it. So we think of John Carpenter as being quite, well, a big smoker, quite gruff. <laughs> What's he really like? Um, quite a bit of a smoker and quite gruff, but he's actually um, the sweetest man. He's he's such a doll, and he's he's just very kind. And, and you know, he was incredible we you know we were five women you know just with him every day all day long and he always treated us just completely amazingly so he literally smokes everywhere <laughs> so much so that sometimes we see it drifting into the frame yeah yeah he would you know they, we he just didn't ever not have a cigarette <laughs> and no, not just john's film but a lot of other films have featured horror films have featured young women as the the protagonist mm -hmm. i mean going back to to Halloween in a sense, which almost set that sort of pattern. That's true, that's what, true. Why is that, do you think? I don't know, he must like women. <laughs> it seems to happen with a lot a lot of horror films, and, and when I go to the cinema to see horror films, I see a lot of women in the audience as, as well. Right. Have you always been a fan? I've always been a fan of horror movies, yeah. My favourites have been, you know, Halloween and Poltergeist and The Omen and The Shining, um, more recently, like The Ring. I, I love horror movies. Do you like to be scared? Oh yeah, I love it. Why? Why? I don't know. It's exciting. It's. It, I love feeling that suspense. Just the same reason you, you know, you like to go on roller coaster rides. I'm always very frightened of roller coaster rides, but I always plunge <laughs> into horror films head head first. And one of the things that oh. happened when I went I went through the through the ward is because it was based in real horror. It right. sort of connected me to something at the same time and stuff that's very much. Not, not real. real. Um, right. It connected me to, to some real uh, horrific things. And, you know, it kind of makes a statement, do you think, about about how people have been treated in institutions? Absolutely. John had a very um, personal experience with this um, because of someone in his family. And I think that, um, you know, he was just really 
it, it meant more to him than just creating a scary movie and for you know people to get scared or whatever. Um, I think that there was a lot more going on, and and I really thought of that as well because I've always been very fascinated with psychology and. Um, you know, I won't give it away why, but the, the whole concept to this film is not just a, a really cool, kitschy movie, you know, that's scary, but it's actually about a lot more. Um, and if you look into the history of mental illness and the way that they treated patients in the 60s, you know, it was a very, very different time. So there's an extra layer to not just Alfred, but of course your character as well. So it would make building that character a little different than in yeah, other films. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool to... to to play this, I don't know. How yeah, well, not let's away, not say anymore, but yeah. how, did you, how did you go about building this character in comparison to building a character normally as an actress? Um, I guess because it's not just about you, you know, we're collaboratively, we're, we're all in it together, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and um, Iris represents the artist um, personality in the story, um, and, and I was just trying to find moments in every scene and um, in every conversation, basically, why Iris is finding the art in it. Why is she drawing this or why is she wanting to be here? So I keep pushing you closer and closer to that spoiler line, don't I? I'm sorry. So what's, okay. uh, what's next for you, Lindsay? What else are you working on? Um, Nikita. And, and on and on with Nikita. Yeah. So, so we've got a whole new season of that coming up for yeah, you? Yeah, yes. Can you tell us anything about where that's going? Um, it's just, it's going to be awesome. You're just going to, um, I think Alex is really going to start standing up for herself and kind of becoming a more powerful woman. Um, she's come a long way since the first season. So, um, I think there'll be a lot of really great twists in the second season. Something very female led again. Yeah. Um, but in the past we've seen you in some other things like Hot Tub, Time Machine and Kick-Ass, which were very male led. Yes. I love working with the boys. Just They're a awesome. change of tone. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's really your dream fun. project, though? If if Nikita, you know, one day I don't think it will run for the next fifty years. One day, no. what, what, what what's missing? What would you like to do? We've got horror films, we've got action, we've got all sorts. So, um, you know, I like doing everything. I like um, I like comedies like Kick Ass and things. You know, they were they they're really fun and and um, you know, I just. I try and, and do something opposite than I do. So after the second season of Nikita's done, I, I probably won't do an action movie, but uh, something a little, maybe a little bit more light and fun. Well, Lindsay, thank you very much for, sure. for talking to me. 